Starter race week day number three. Trevor's fuel on the Supra. Miles is already ready to go. Dan has his Chevelle in the back of the trailer. He had a rough first day, but he's still chugging along here. We got the Motion Marquee and the Buick all fueled up, ready to go to Great Bend. So we have probably a four plus hour drive this morning to Great Bend. We got to get there, unload, set up, and race still today, all in one day. Stay in Great Bend and head to Pueblo, which is where we're local to. So let's get on the road. All right, everyone. So this is kind of one of those moments when you're on a trip like this with a whole bunch of hot rods and you look out the back window and you see them all falling behind and everybody's just cruising. One of the coolest things ever. I mean, come on. Doesn't get much better than that right there. This shit is awesome. <laughs> Making some progress. There's some other race weekers. This is Matt that actually runs the event. They have a little car people can borrow to like get around in. They carry a little bit of extra tools, fuel, stuff for people that might break down. Uh, shout out to Matt and them, just great people. Let's go. So Tom McGelton last night went 750s at 197 mile an hour. That is so badass. Mid sevens at 197 mile an hour. Load that thing up, pull a trailer, head to the next track. So cool to see him killing it this year. All right, everyone, first checkpoint of the day. Doing all right? Yep, everything looks good. We're right at 182 degrees temperature. Perfect, nice cool morning so far, but the heat's starting to kick in. But everybody made it. Now we'll just keep on cruising. Been at it about an hour here, so not too, too bad yet. Got the whole group of everybody still. Mazda, Buick, Coach Marquis, Trevor Cochinato, Junkyard Dave. This is the uh, little checkpoint here. Everybody else pulling in and out. Get back on the road. Got some more race weekers pulling in. A little bit of everything. This thing's clean. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, if you have a hot rod, it doesn't matter how fast it is. Bring it on a trip like this, you won't regret it, I promise. Everybody's having so much fun. I'm losing my voice. All right, here we go. April's getting ready to go. I grabbed a whole bunch of brakes, still went 1285. So she might be able to get her 1199 or better. If not, she'll at least get a good low 12 second pass. So win win on this pass. Let's see how she does here. Ready to go? Hopefully. I couldn't even read like what the time was on the board. Yeah, four ninety-five. Four seconds. Yeah. Just, just have to be like, just, just take that to clean us and be like, yeah, look at this. Clean. Fastest ET of the day. No, I don't know. I did. I felt it there. Did you? That's how I just stayed in it, and then it shifts again, and then it clears up. So it's like in a certain gear, it freaks out. So I don't know what's going on there. But here we go. Get ready to happen. That's hit number two. James is hit number one in Ruby. Uh, they got a bit of a lead because they've had really good passes, but uh, still one to two. At least if we can try to close that gap a little bit. That'd be great. And uh, we'll see what happens right here. 
All right, guys, so Ruby's going. James is in the lead of the class. My dad's in second place with the Buick. Let's see how they do. Just went 862 in Ruby. Let's see what the Buick can do here. There you go. Find the groove. We got a GT2 RS against a electric Porsche Panorama. What do you think? It felt good. It felt that it didn't hit near the top end. No. On new bar. No, what was a mile an hour? 161. I wonder why. So it's 10 mile an hour. Obviously, Kearney, and I felt like everything. Felt lazy, though? Yeah, it just didn't have the top end. It felt full. It felt itself the car, but not huh. like it's always gaining. It just kind of came up and plateaued and just kind of carried out. You still want a so, 75? Yeah, so I figure I'll look at the computer. Let's see if we can see what it did. Bit. Yeah, see if I can tighten up that spot a little bit. More. Yeah. Now I got room to play at least for it. Yeah, yeah, we're good. So we can try one more, and if it works great, if it doesn't, yeah. that's fine too. Pass, at least we have. Yeah. That's always the thing. All righty, here we go. I'm gonna try to uh, get this 13-0 slip that I need. Added some to the torque table, see if it hopefully it won't fall off. But I'll be lifting kind of before that anyway, so we'll see. See kind of what the car does this time. We can turn that slip in. So what you got going on over here? Well, lights are all down. They just called us back to the lane, so I'll run. We'll turn it up a little bit. Do a couple more pounds to it. We'll see what we can possibly get it to the 850. Go so we possibly can. Just tighten up the window a little bit. Just keep the competition still. 
<laughs> Gotta keep that second place. That's right. I'm now chasing numbers again. <laughs> Here we go, last pass the Buick. We're gonna shoot for that 850 mark. Let's see if we can hit it. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Come on, 850. 850, 850. does whatever it's supposed to do. How about that? That's how you do it, right? <laughs> 8.53 with a 9. It's almost 8.54. Well, back to the 172. 14760, still super soft 60, but then it starts to do work. 133 to there, 170. Yeah, I was back. shaking the tire so it, it was on the verge of it. Oh, it was, it was shaking. You just stayed in it. So I pedaled it. Oh, back some, and then so that's actually a pedal, and it still went 852 or three. Second gear. Yeah, and then it's, it's again, oh really? So I pulled back and then holy cow! Back there, so I can feel it. So, it's so I had plenty of power in it. You were able to pedal it around and still go the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I went through the end and I popped the chute, the horn button flew out on this stuff. <laughs> From the late, I'm like, that, that was getting Well, James is loading up for another pass. Is he? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. So, 8.53 for the Buick. The Mazda only went 13.5. We had some issues there, middle of the track. April, it's uh, been a long week for her, so she made like a 12.40 pass, I think. Called it good there. Uh, just kind of a different day, but my dad did get the Buick dialed in, you know, 853 is pretty good. Uh, James actually ended up making another pass and went 855, so they still have a bit of a lead on us, but we're just trying to secure that second place spot and then, you know, play the long game. We're just trying to make it live all week and just let it shake out the way that it does. So that'll be it from Great Bend. Tomorrow is another drive day back to Pueblo where we live. If you guys want to see more from this trip, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.